three weeks from this morning, college basketball will be center stage. It will be bracket time, and Kent State is hoping to be a part of March Madness, a family unit that's done it before and hoping to do it again with a familiar face back on their side. It's a story about family, not the kind with blood, rather one with a deep bond. It's really what separates Kent from, from a lot of other programs in this league and in this area is what we've built that way. The father of Kent State basketball, Rob Senderoff. Last year's Mid-American Conference Coach of the Year is in his 20th season with the Golden Flashes program. Senderoff is the winningest head coach in Kent State history, a role he's had for 12 seasons. And now his arsenal is deeper than ever. The winningest head coach in MAC history, Jim Christian, is back. Like the grandfather. So now I'm the grandfather of the program. <laughs> I'm having the best time. You know, Rob's having a good time when we win, but he has to deal with everything. You know, I was that. Flash's head coach from 2002 until 2008, Christian won two conference titles, appearing in the NCAA tournament twice. This is such a special place for all of us. You know, my, my oldest son was born here. My wife's from here. You know, Rob and I have been friends for 30 years. They are both from New York, but first met in 1995 when they were assistants at Miami University in Ohio. Christian's first hire in 2002 at Kent State was Senderoff to be his assistant coach. Now, 20 years later, the tables have turned as Senderoff has brought Christian back on his coaching staff. He's been invaluable to me, uh, to our staff, our players. I don't have all the answers, but I know where a lot of the potholes are, and if I can help avoid a pothole or two, then, then it makes it worthwhile. The two friends have helped navigate around the potholes on the court and off of it. They've talked almost every day since they met. Rob was Jim's best man. It was right after our season ended, and you know he's so intense during the year. I, I thought he was going to tell me, hey, Rob, you need to go find another job, because he was like, hey, I need to talk to you about something pretty serious. He asked me to be the best man at his wedding. After head coaching stints at TCU, Ohio, and Boston College, the once fiery head coaches return not so demanding and tough. Has anyone told you they think you're different now than you were then? Oh, every day. I'm sure Julian would be the one. I mean, <laughs> Julian would be the guy to ask about. I'm sure he shakes his head. Oh, totally different guy. I mean, he's so laid back, man. I, I you know, I didn't know he smiled, you know. <laughs> so he smiles a ton now, man. He, he enjoys himself. Julian Sollinger knows Christian as well as anyone. He played for him, and now he coaches with him. Assistant coaches Randall Holt and John Fleming played for Senderoff at Kent, a family tree that continues to grow. Although it's different teams and you might have different faces year by year, it's still the same blueprint DNA, and that, that's a testament to, to, to the coaches. This all becomes about people and relationships and long-term relationships, and that's kind of what this story is all about. Kent State is 22-6 and six and has won 20 straight games at home. That's the second longest streak in the nation. They have three games left in the regular season, including tomorrow in Bowling Green and the big one a week from today at home versus Akron. So, oh, my gosh, so much fun going down there and talking with those guys. And the, <laughs> I don't know he smiled. <laughs> that is that <laughs> way. Well, right, he was so. I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> you think about it as a head coach, yeah. you know, he was very, very, uh, I don't know, if the, strict and mm -hmm. serious. And now, yeah. you know, he's having a great time. And he wouldn't just do this anywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the perfect situation for Christian to go back to Kent State. And uh, I tell you, they're having a lot of fun down there. Yeah. And, you know, in sports, there's often the debate about who's the best and this and that, but mm -hmm. to kind of put just some perspective on it, okay, there will be a time when people will debate that these two guys, Senderoff and Christian, you know, would be on the Matt coach Mount Rushmore. Oh, wow. Per se. I mean, they're two great coaches in the history yeah. of this conference. There's got to be something special about, you know, when, when you've been coached by somebody and you coach with somebody to know the ins and the outs of what somebody's going to do and what somebody's mm -hmm. going to call. Like, that makes for a successful formula because you just almost inherently know what that person's going to do next, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's so fun. I loved it. Yeah. You brought the, you brought the real out of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that the assistant mm -hmm. coaches, they all, they all played yeah. at Kent. So That's like amazing. you said, they all know what they're yeah. doing. They all know yeah. the, the game book, the yeah. playbook.